What's up guys? Today we're gonna be installing the VRSF three and a half inch downpipe. And here it is going into the F30 today. And the reason for it being three and a half inch instead of the regular four inches because mine was 2013 or built in 2013. So on the VRSF website, it said to get three and a half. So that's what I did. Hopefully it fits. And I did get the gasket that goes around here. And also I got two VVN clamps because when I was installing the intercooler, I went to go check under there and it was rusted. The V-band clamp was rusted on the bottom part of the downpipe. And so I don't want to deal with that. So just get two new ones. Don't have to deal with all that hassle. And yeah, that's about it. But it should be a nice install. It should be pretty easy besides the point that that one single V-band is rusted and kind of hard probably it's going to be hard to get off but other than that this thing uh, should be nice pretty loud i can't wait for it to go on i freaking hate how quiet it is to me to other people it's loud quiet to me but yeah let's get on with this install and we'll go we'll try and go a little bit by little bit to get every speck in there but yeah i'll see you guys later. What's not coming off? Huh? Oh, that one bolt? Yeah. You know what? I won't be able to do it. There's no way. The sucker is like... You need a... It's because you might have to come in from this side. Huh? We might have to lift it up on this side. Uh, no, that's not the problem. The problem is getting inside here with that tool. gonna come out because the wires what do you mean just be careful don't push the car no, one stuck come one stuck. on where's it stuck that one you pull it pull on it, it stuck? i stopped what? Oh, don't forget to take off the gasket. Hold on. Which one is this one in my hand? This one goes back on the clip over there. Huh? Yep. Did you unclip something? Yep. Oh, God. Catalytic converter. Ouch. Finally. It looks longer. Uh -huh. uh. It looks longer, don't it? Yeah. But also there isn't a bend. We're gonna have to play with it. Well, there's a lot of room in there. Remember, this thing is huge. This thing is small. So there's room to play. Oh, you had that too? Yeah. Yeah, lucky. You have a longer one? We're putting this one on. And these one of the sensors. Oh, two sensors. Oh, two sensors. All right, Albert. We can time them later, no? 
Might as well turn it now. We're working on it. Oh, the restriction. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Look at the inside. See, that's why they. It's heavy. It don't have to be that tight, right? No. With all the restriction in here. Right there. This is what, like 400 cell? I don't know. No, Something like that. Higher? higher? Yeah, it's probably yeah. 600. What? Uh, cell is like the amount of. Well, obviously, you can see. We got it on. It wasn't easy. Uh, explain how we had to reuse the clamp. Yeah, by the way, um, this top clamp right here, we reused it. We just put in new bolts right there. And then on the bottom clamp, we had to reuse it completely. And then the gasket's in it. And the gasket is new though. And then, let me show them something real quick. Okay. And then tell, show them what's important to disconnect up there on the top. All right. And then this is the old gasket here. As you can tell, this thing is like kind of Okay, so I don't have dashed. nothing else down here, right? Nope. I can start locking it up? Yeah. You sure? Yep. Hold on. Don't, don't plug up those up there yet. I know. And then here's the O2 sensors, which are ready to be plugged up once this thing goes back on and then we put engine cover and then we're good and then we start it and then this is the vrsf clamp we were using but it wasn't like holding on to the turbo at all trying to hold it up like this it wasn't holding on to it just kept coming loose so we ended up reusing both of the clamps again and then the old cat here and then, yeah. huh? Moment of truth, we're turning on the car after the downpipe install. We shall see how loud it is. Dad, what? I think you should move. Hold on. It's gonna be pretty loud. I think. I hope so. Are you yeah, ready? I have to go back, yeah, you ready? I'm good. Okay. It's loud. I, I got this funky hat on, but I was working. I don't care. <laughs> what are I was your thoughts on the sound? Making it happen. The sound, it sounds like monster. It looks, sounds good. It's like, it, it, it makes sounds it really loud. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds louder in the garage just because it took us three hours, I think. Though. Three hours? Four? Four hours. But yeah, we're going to want to test drive and see how it sounds. All right, so we're out driving now, testing it out. And I wanna do a pull real quick, but I gotta wait till we get to a good portion of the street to do the pull. But so far, it doesn't sound that bad.
Is this sport? Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's comfort. Oh, I forget about this. No wonder. I'll just say it pulls a lot harder than it did before. That no restriction really helps it. What about with the windows up? How does it sound? Windows up now, let's see how it sounds. Look at that car boy. He's leaving, I think. I know. Dude, those pops are so loud. Okay, now we know it works. It looks, works sounds well. good. You wanna say so, Maxo? I actually wanna get a, one more pull of somebody standing outside while I go fly by. 